is a way to calibrate an altimeter, an aircraft altimeter. So what I've done is I've connected the altimeter via a T-piece to a syringe and to a manometer. In this case, the manometer has got mercury in it. And the idea is I'm going to pull a vacuum with the syringe. And as you'll see, as I pull the vacuum, so the altimeter rises and the manometer reading changes, you'll see the one little increases and the one reduces. So I'm going to, just for purposes of illustration, make the manometer split 40 millimeters. We're starting at 457, 5, 10, 15, 20. And at the same time, looking at the altimeter, which is reading 1,000, just under 1,600 feet. Here's the chart. So that was around about a 40 millimeter split on the manometer, and it should have read 1,500 foot. And so you can go through the other values in the chart. I'll just let you pause on each of those. So all the way up to 13,000 odd feet, we should have a 295 millimeter split on the mercury manometer. So this table was drawn up using this formula here, which relates height in meters to pressure. You'll see the spreadsheet has got the manometer split as X and the pressure in pascals, altitude in meters, altitude in feet.